First, we connected C2, uh, and then we added G2 and E3 on top of it, and then to close it, we added E3, and we put a nail over there, a P2 nail, and then now it is sealed. Now, we're going to get uh, our C4 and C5 which I've just cut now we're going to hold it in place like that and keep go make this go to the black one and this one go to the orange one but make sure 
It is the end one, not the big one. And do it like this. It is a bit tricky, but I'd recommend you first do one, then do the other one. Then it's easy. Then you get your C5 and place it on top. And you should hear a click after that. <laughs> now this is where it should end up. Like now we're gonna take uh, the pack D and cut out one of the D sevens and D six. So now we've got our pieces d6 and d7 first we're gonna take so hold it like that and now take your d7 and in this hole attach this piece into the hole you will hear a loud click like that and then turn it around and do the same with the other Now it should be flopping around. Okay. So now you have to keep it like that. Now we're gonna. So in one of these packs, there's a big black thing. But if you look carefully, there's some lines etched onto it. So now we're gonna open it. So I got to it now. Now I'm going to take the biggest uh, rectangular slices off. So I'm going to take one off. That's how big it should be compared to my thumb. Now I'm going to attach it here. You have to do this very carefully, or when you use it, it's not going to. Uh, grip it on properly Now when you've done that we're gonna have to repeat the process again Okay Now I have two of these ones, but you can see this one goes here and this one goes here like that okay. Now we're gonna take the pack F Now we're gonna cut out the biggest piece now we have the piece f ones but now we need to cut out two f2 pieces so we're gonna take the pack f again and now we see the two is there and there now we have those two pieces now we're gonna attach them onto f1 so one piece will go no, it should be like that, and that should go right there, and it should be like this, and it should easily fit on. There, it won't be. Now we're gonna get two of our P2 nails, which are the ones with a, a fat side, and we're gonna put one nail there and one nail there. Now we're going to have to screw them down. But make sure the pieces we, we screwed in are not wobbly. But otherwise, it will be very hard to put the hands in. Now we're going to take our control board, which is B. And we're gonna take the F platform up there. Now we're gonna try. We're gonna get F five, uh, which is which is the middle one there. So now we're gonna cut it off. Now we're gonna take F five 
I'm placing these two holes there. Like that. Push it in hard. And then it should be stable now. Like this. Now we're gonna get the F1 we made earlier and put it onto the control board. It should slide in easily. These pieces should go and the bottom should look like that. Now, oops. Now we're gonna do it. We need to fix this back on. So now we're gonna get our P P2 nails and put it through the hole here. A tiny hole which is right behind beside that stick. So now after we've done that it should be nice and stable. But now we're gonna flip it over like that. Now we're gonna get two P2 screws again. And can you see those holes there and there? We're gonna put the screws down, down there. It should actually be there and there instead. Hmm. Now, after we've done this, we're gonna take our board E and we're gonna cut off E16 which is right which is the one with lines right there which looks like a pie so E16 is here now we're gonna take G6 so we're gonna take G and you should be able to see that long pull from here to here two circles at the end so now we're gonna cut it off now we're gonna get e16 and g6 and put e6 on e16 on top of g6 which is oh like this so we're gonna take that end with the tiny circles like this put it at the end like this Okay, there's been to be a problem, so it's actually there with a the big circle. But it's, it is very hard to put in, as if you look closely, it's a square instead of a circle. And this is a square instead of a circle as well. So it has to go line to line, like this. Now it should end up like this, like a lantern on a long now from our control uh, place we're going to put the end with the tiny swirls the tiny swirls and that and that, the, that end in that little hole over there so it should go like that and it should drop in easily like that now we're going to take uh, G11 which is this piece right here and we're gonna cut it off now keep your control pad from like that and hold your G11 and from the the place under the orange bit that piece you should be able to fit it in and then push it in far enough until you hear a click like that now we're gonna get our sticking to place mats. And uh, there are tiny squares as you should see and there's four squares and four rectangles. So first we we will take the squares and place them over here. So we should cover these places like that. Now we're going to take another square and put it over here now. So 
And then we're going to take another square, put it there. And then another square, put it over here. So now all the squares should be used. But now we're going to be using the rectangles. So we're going to take one rectangle. And, and you should see these tiny lines which guide you to where to put the rectangles. Like first. Make sure you don't cover these two holes. And now we're gonna take another rectangle and cover it, like the one next to it. This, 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 the, this stickers is to get a good grip and so when you're using it to not uh, slip into another place. And finally our last one. So this is what your result should look like. One there, one there, one there, one there. One there, one there, one there, one there. So now we're gonna get G17, which is over here, that top there. We're gonna take G17 and G18. So now I'm gonna cut those off. Now after you got G17 and G18 out, we're gonna take these two iron mars with metal in a bubble wrap so one should be longer than the other so we're gonna keep our control platform like this and you should see which the longer one and the short one should go so first we're gonna put the longer one in like that and that one there like that now these are because we need to cover them so now we're gonna take this and cover this. like that and take the short one and cover the short part like this so that's how your result should be now we're gonna get our P1 nails this time. So these nails with a fat with a fat side. Now we're gonna take a piece from the E platform. So the orange one. Now we got E right there. And which I'm gonna cut off right there now we got e2 it should look like this now we're gonna cut g8 from this this is what uh, g8 should look like but now we're gonna need another p1 nail now we're gonna uh, connect these now we're gonna connect these uh four objects together so first we're gonna take our e2 and one p1 nail now we're gonna put the drop the nail through that so it should look oops so it should look like that and now uh, you could see the nail from the bottom now we're gonna take our g8 and put it there. which our nail should go through our nail should go through and take our another P1 nails and drop it through here now I'm gonna connect it over here but we're gonna screw this all together now now when when it's connected when it's connected to that piece 
when you spin it, you should see the bar in there rotating. Okay. So now we're gonna. Now after that, we're gonna take our E. But now we're gonna be looking for E twenty five. Now I got the piece E twenty five, which looks like that. Now I took out. Now we needed the piece F four, which looks a bit like a mini radiator. So now we're gonna attach E twenty five and uh F four. So it should go like that. Now it should look like that. And now it should be able to swing. So now we got the black piece and now your spinning thing should be there. And hold this like that. And now from here you can you can see that piece over here which should be able to click on. It should look like that. Now we're gonna leave this aside. Now, so now we're gonna make the main body assembly. So now I'm gonna take C18. I'm gonna take C18 off. Now I cut some other pieces up. So we got a. Uh, C18, which is right there, and we got an F7, and a G16, and a D5. Now we're going to attach them. So first we're going to get C18, and then F7. And this slot is going to go in this hole, like that. And then, this bit is going to go into that, like that. And that should go like that. And then, now we're going to get our D5 and slide it through here like that oops now we have to have our body like that now we're gonna get our f3 so we can see our body is still there and now bring your piece here and that should go like that and, pre and press so now your body is going to look like that. A bit like a dinosaur head. So now, uh, we can see these two holes there and there. So we're going to put a P2 hole in the smaller hole. And a P1 hole in the bigger hole. Like that. Now we're going to get the piece D2 and then we're going to attach it to this piece like that and now we're going to get a P2 nail and put it in this hole so now it should look like this so now I took the part D3 so from the piece we made just now earlier, we're going to flip it over like that. And now we're going to take D3 and hold it like this. And connect it like that. And push hard. And it should look like that. But now... We, I took off the piece E13, the slot at the end. We're going to put in this big hole here and push hard. Now, we're going to take three 
uh, P P2s and put them one there, one there, and one there. So, so one there, one there, one there. And now we're going to screw it down. So now it should end up like this. And then we're gonna get a piece E26, which should look like that. And over on this piece, we're gonna slide it on. We're gonna slide it on like that. So this bit is the wrist, and this and this bit is the forearm. So now we're gonna take the pieces D4 and G10. Now we're gonna take D4 and keep it like that. Now we're gonna keep G10 and place this over here. So it should easily go like that. Now over there, we're gonna need a P2 nail. Which is a screw. So now we're gonna hold our piece like that and get a C9 and cut it off and put it in place like So this piece should go in that hole. In this hole. Like that. So simply on that. But now we're gonna need some nail screws for there and there. So we're gonna chop from there. Now I'm gonna screw it. So now I took some two E15s off and one uh, G14 and one G13. So now we're gonna place them together with this so first we're gonna get out E15 and get our G13 and place it through here like that like that it's a little bubbly but it's okay for now and then take it take this here and put it go through it like that so it's basically covered. Now take the G14 and keep it there and cover it again. So the G15s are just to keep it stable in place. Now this is how it should look like as a result. Now we're gonna take the piece D1, this piece. Now we're gonna take our thing and put it on D1. That push it hard. Mm. Now look from the bottom, and now we're gonna we're gonna need four P2s, P1 sorry, four P1s. And we're gonna keep them there. Gonna, now this is what it should look like now. 